uh, back to school shopping. By this time, you're probably a college or university student, which means you've entered your adult stage. And trust me, the experience is quite different from high school. Don't believe me? You'll see. Rule of thumb. When it comes on to back to school shopping, make a list, set a budget, and stick to it. What up guys, Karis Maggie here and welcome back to my channel. Back to school is back again and of course all of us are running around like crazy trying to get all the essential things that we need. The reality is, not all of us are able to afford all those cute or dope looking back to school supplies. So if you're looking for a way to save some extra cash, continue watching this video because I am here to tell you how you can. So if you're looking for an alternative to notebooks, you don't want to be using five subject, three subject books anymore, then there's a perfect solution. There are three ring binders. So they come in two forms. You have the open version like this, and then you have the closed version, which comes with a zipper to keep everything inside that comes like this. Pretty much the main difference or the main similarity, I should say, between these two, they give you the flexibility of just using loose sheet or folder sheet, whatever you want to call it, put it into your binders and just getting all your notes together in one place if you don't want to deal with like three, four, five different books. Um, this one is on the cheaper side. It usually ranges from about a dollar to three dollars depending on where you buy it. This one, however, it will range from about $7 to about $20 depending on the name brand and also the different features that comes with it. Some of them come with pencil cases, some of them come with like little compartments so you can put extra sheets of paper in it, handouts, stuff like that, all the good works. If your heart so desire, you can buy some subject dividers which basically comes like this which helps you to basically separate all the subjects that you probably will have in your binder. And the beauty about these subject dividers is that they come with an area that you can put notes or whatever you want to put into the slot for each subject that you have divided. So as mentioned before, if you're thinking about getting yourself a three ring binder, then your best bet is to get folder sheet, which is to go into them. You can get these for literally 99 cents to a dollar. They're not that expensive and they're really convenient if you have a folder. The next set of supplies are really, really great for studying and I'm going in no particular order. So you have your normal highlighters. Index cards, these are really great studying tools. Instead of carrying a whole textbook with you, you can just have all your study material on it. You can go anywhere with it, to the grocery store while you're on the bus, wherever. They are just really, really handy and they fit pretty much in any small space that's available. The final item are these mini self-adhesive notes. They are just like your post-it notes, only difference between them, they are like in small rectangular strips. So what you do, you just tear them off and stick it in whatever you want. So most of the times I use this for when I'm studying, so I put it in my textbook to like mark a page for a specific chapter that goes with a topic that my professor spoke about. So. Really great tool, comes in really handy. Okay, so for your next set of items, these are your stationary items. So I'm gonna start off with some pencils and I have two different kinds in my hand. These um, are the ones that would require you to have a sharpener so that you can sharpen them whenever the points break. And these do not require your sharpener because it comes with its own lead. So these are the refillable lead ones. It's up to you which one you prefer. These usually range from like a dollar to about two dollars. They're not expensive at all and they're usually really good quality anyways. These other items, they come in really handy when you do not want to leave the comfort of your room to gain access to them. And they are the hole puncher and the stapler, also including staples and the staple remover. Pens, of course, are a must. You need them to write in pretty much any of your courses. You do not have to blow off $7 getting one. You can literally buy a pack of like 10 pens for about $1, $2. They are really, really affordable. Don't spend money that you don't need to. They're just pens. Some other items to have that come in really handy are 
a ruler, pencil case of your choice, and a really simple calculator. Now, if you weren't able to buy yourself one of those really fancy binders that I showed you previously, then you can just get yourself some really cute and affordable folders. And there are two types. You have this one that doesn't come with like the slots. And you have this one that does come with the slots where you can put your documents in. You're going to need these because you have tons of handouts that you get you during university, papers, your tests that you probably want to keep, quizzes, etc. So these come in handy, just get you some, at least five, I would say. University is on a whole different level. You're going to have deadlines upon deadlines, due dates upon due dates. Don't stress out your poor little brain to try and remember everything. Invest in a personal organizer. And there are so many different kinds. They range from about $2, this really simple small one. It was about $2. Actually, it was $1.50. And if you're like me, you don't want to spend on this ceremony, you could just get the personal planner that your school actually provides for you. And it's free of cost. The final items are what I like to call the lifesavers because they literally can save your life. A smartphone, a laptop, and a flash drive or thumb drive. Your laptop will come in very handy because if you do not want to depend on using a school computer, you can always have a personal one to do your work in the comfort of your room. Your smartphone pretty much can be essential for many things such as taking pictures of notes. You have various apps that you could download to help you during your university process or journey. And for your flash drive, it's basically a really good way to save important documents and just have it as a backup plan. Of course, your back to school shopping supply is not limited to the items that I suggested in this video. It all depends on your program, the courses that you're taking, and also your comfort. It is up to you to decide what else you need to make your university experience a more comforting and better one. So if you need a printer, you get one. If you prefer using a locker as opposed to having a backpack, that is probably an option that your school may have. It all depends on what is offered to you. I hope that this video was helpful. If it was, please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, share this video, and let me know in the comment section, what are some other back to school supplies that you think are very important for university students? Also, drop the name of your school, whether your high school or your university down in the comment section below i want to know about you guys don't forget to do road and do things and until next time maggie is out hey guys for more episodes of surviving university hit that bell notification right beside your subscribe button so that you can get updated every time i upload a new video thank you for tuning in welcome to university and i hope that your experience is a pleasant one